Welcome to Egypt. A stunning transcontinental country spanning the northeast corner of Africa and southwest corner of Asia, characterized by its tremendously rich culture and colorful history. So today we're in Cairo for one thing and one thing only. So I can feel something, goddammit, so I can feel something. My goal today is to turn the authenticity dial up to a thousand and see if we can wiggle our way into some genuinely local spots. This is the car, right? Uber? Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, none of that touristy bullshit. I really want to get down and dirty with the locals. I don't want any of the touristy bullshit, you know? I mean, I'm gonna stop and see the pyramids and the Sphinx and all that good stuff, but I really wanna get down and dirty with the locals, you know? I wanna see where the local food spots are. I wanna see local craftsmen working with their hands and show me their passions, not only because it makes for really good photographs, but that's the only way to get the true Egyptian experience. I wanna see what makes Cairo citizens tick. Funny thing is, we only have three days to do this, so this should be very, very interesting. But first, you know we gotta hit all the tourist spots. I'm talking the pyramids, the Sphinx, the bazaar, yada yada. The only thing is, Egyptian authorities are notorious for being extremely stringent about anyone with camera gear. So we're here at the break of dawn, trying to slip past the security guard with all my gear. Why? Because ladies and gentlemen, you deserve to be brought along for the ride. After a little bit of hassling, haggling, and a little bit of bribing, to be honest, I was able to sneak my camera gear into the pyramid complex. And boy, was it worth it. This place is truly stunning. There's something about ancient architecture that forces you to take a step back and truly soak in that adventure ahead of you. My God, the sheer scale of these things, it's so large. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, go for a little camel ride. Okay, so that was one of the most magical experience I've ever had riding the camel through the desert. It was fantastic, but time's up. I'm gonna try and make my way to the bazaar and see. I have, to, I have a lead of a guy who can show us some lantern workers. So I'm very excited for that. I'd like you to meet Ali, a merchant here in Khan al Khalili that I bumped into while walking around the bazaar. After I told him what I wanted to do here in Cairo, he took time off of his own work to show me around. Not for money, but solely out of the kindness of his own heart. It's people like him that make me excited to meet new people when I'm traveling. Firstly, he took me to the market's top jewel enthusiast who's been collecting jewels for over 45 years. This is Topaz. Topaz. Lee. After a little bit of haggling and back and forth, I picked out a volcanic rock to be fashioned into a ring. Seeing these men come together to collaborate to make one piece of art honestly was truly inspiring. Next, he took me to an antique store owned by an old friend simply because he saw I took interest in tiny little trinkets as we walk and past the stalls. That day we walked and walked, darting through stalls and shops at a thousand miles an hour, led by Ali. I think we walked a total of 13 miles that day up and down Kalele Kalili markets to jewelers, lamp makers, stone workers and more only stopping for one thing and one thing alone the traditional egyptian dish roasted and stuffed pigeon pigeon over the course of the dinner with ali we spoke about politics philosophy 
and what he truly cared about. Money for me is not everything. Yes, really. yes, 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 yes. He told me that he was born in a hospital only a mere five minutes from the market. He'd lived his whole life showing people around Egypt, having gone to school for tourism and city history, simply to share the love for the place he lived in with others. We spoke about the Egyptian revolution and how the media's coverage of it adversely affected the world's opinion of Egypt, and how he hoped that instances like the one that we were sharing right now would hopefully change the way that people felt about his beloved country. Honestly, it touched me in a way that I wasn't expecting to feel. In today's society, you don't get to fully experience selflessness and true care for complete strangers the way Ali displayed to us. I came to Egypt searching for authentic experiences and an intimate connection with the locals. And boy, not only did I find that, but I found a friend. Someone who had nothing to gain, but decided to give everything. An absolute lesson in selflessness and a cheeky reminder for me to take a step back, slow down, and truly appreciate the moments that I get to experience on these travels. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.